Hey dolls, welcome back to another video. This is, as you can see, it's drama. But um, I wanted to bring you guys, you know, different skin tones on my channel, which I already tried this one time, and y'all make it, y'all, you know, like y'all give me feedbacks, and y'all was really interested into it, so I decided to do it again. Um, yeah, I think this look is super bomb. A lot of y'all think the same, and y'all was demanding the video, so here we have the video. I'm super excited. So you guys, I hope you guys enjoy. So let's jump right into it. Y'all know I'm using my forever Magic Cosmetics Deep Brow Pomade in Magic Dazzle Brown. My client's brows are already like thick and dark, but I still like um, fill the ends just to make it more precise. And yeah, y'all already know how I feel about brows. Y'all know this. I don't have to explain this to y'all because yeah. So I'm just filling in and then I'm going to just clean up the brows. I'm just going to use my, um, I'm using my P. Louise base here. There we go. This is in the shade. What shade am I using? I'll just list it in the description bar below for y'all. What shade am I using? I think it's, I think it's, um, old hand the first one they ever came out with i think that's the one i'm using and i'm just gonna clean up that brow i just um mix this with my makeup revolution concealer so that's why i'm using this to clean up the brow because normally you use a concealer but i just use this because this is like a concealer either ways and as you go make sure you blend in those edges because you don't want um the product to dry and stain the client's skin and that's gonna make like um the product hard to blend out so you want to blend as you go okay so i'm just like making sure the top is nice and precise y'all see my brows i'll always see my brows they're precise my client's brows gotta be as precise okay so yeah <laughs> so let's jump right into um a base you guys um like I said, I mix the old ham, that's the P.W.'s base, with the Makeup Revolution. And that's what I'm patting into her eyelids right now. And the Makeup Revolution is in C1. It's the lightest one that I'm using. So, we are jumping right into our BH Cosmetics Carnival Palette by Stacey Marie. And, um first color we jump right into is wasted that's that purple color we want a really intense crease really really deep really really dark i want the cut crease to be so intense like listen this is why y'all want this video so bad because this cut crease is really detailed like this is really detailed and like i said like i always said if the crease is not dark enough it's and you cut that crease you're not gonna see what you want to see the crease gotta be really detailed so then I took my funky color, which is that pink color, and I'm blending out that purple. Remember in the last video, I said you tap and you blend, you tap and you blend, you tap and you blend. Make sure you blend. Especially for your first color where you drop into that um, crease area, you want to make sure you tap that in. Okay? Yeah. So, where we go from here? So now we go right into our, wait, why was I so paused for so long? But anyhow, we go into the color Keen, which is that yellow color. I should have cut it all out, but it's all right. And we take Keen and be using that as a transition between her brows and that second color. We are using the yellow, which is Keen, to blend out that pink, okay? And when blending, you want to like not rush it, like spend time and blend it your eyeshadows guys spend time on blending your eyeshadows because you see a lot of people doing this so how to do this trust me they take it takes 
a lot of time to blend this I mean this to record this it took me like um two and a half hours honestly so what I'm doing right here is going back with the colors I went where I go with first so now I'm blending I'm trying to find the pink I'm trying to find back the pink color so I'm just gonna go back with the pink brush to define that pink more and then I'm go back with the brush I use for the purple and define that purple more because when you start from the crease area you tend to lose the colors all you gotta do is not panic but just go back with the brushes to find the colors back okay yeah So now we go into mood that's that really really deep um blue matte color in the palette and that's the color we used to deepen that crease i mean the purple was deep but you i wanted it to be deeper like i said before if you want to really see an intense line it has to be sharpened it has to be deep listen it has to be dark up in there so now I go in and I took my Makeup Revolution Concealer. I'm cutting that crease with C1, okay? It's the same way I cut my eyes. But what I find is the eye that gave me the most trouble to cut whenever I cut that first. And then I go back to the eyes that don't give no trouble. It always come out even. Nine times out of ten, the cut crease is even. So yeah, I discovered that on myself and on my client. I'm just making sure that area is nicely matte and then we're going to jump into our shade by shades by gal um this is our single shadow and this is called hey sailor this single shadow is called hey sailor it is really pigmented really really pretty especially on a nice white base okay So I'm just patting that on. I'm just patting that on for you guys. And then we're just going to go into, I think I went into the um, the same palette, Sesame palette, and took that moony color and put it in the inner area right there. Just to make that line pop some more. So then I'm just going back with the, the yellow, the pink, and the purple, and that dark blue just to smoke the sides out. But be sure to start off with the lightest color first. Just don't go in with a dark color at that um right there. Just a dark color um at once. Start off and build the, the color you want, if that makes sense. So I did I really did liner off camera because when I when I look at the video I could barely see it so yeah so then the same way I always put glitter on glitter glue you guys know the glitter I've used it's a lash glue I've been using for my glitter I always say I'm gonna leave it below I think I have it under one of my videos below though and then the glitters are from um glitter your life on 
Instagram lesson eyes so make sure you guys follow my lash line love it lashes cosmetics because these are my new collection I can't wait to like take off with these but yes this is in the style Chantal and like listen that's where the eyes was like okay I'm like yes this is gonna be everything today so cute it's not this is really not even hard y'all you just gotta know how to use your brushes and blend most of the brush I used today was from the Jacqueline Hill Times movie collection so I'm just make sure I clean up that side nice and smooth I'm just gonna take it under our eyes just to um, use it as a base for um, the shadow I'm gonna put under our eyes putting the shadow under our eyes um, honestly it I just like just don't like to just go all the way in with a dark color I like to build my dark colors so this is why I'm gonna like start off with my yellow start off and then go with my orange or my purple and yeah all them colors until I feel like you know all right I could just add a little black now or I could just use a liner but the liner I used was from black up today it was a green liner I think I put under there but then I used the black liner over it and just give it a nice smoked out bottom honestly So we did the other eye of camera, okay? Um, yeah, this tip, um, I like to set my my liner with some black eyeshadow, you guys. So you guys could should start probably doing that, especially if they say it's a matte liner and it's not matte enough for you, because I don't think that any the NYX liner is matte enough for me. So that's why I'll just like put eyeshadow on there. It's just a tip. If you want to do it, you can. If you if you are okay with your liner, and then to the studio. So now we go into prepping and priming our skin and I'm using the Ultra Repair Cream, the First Aid <clears throat> from First um First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, Intense Hydration. This client that I have right here, she has really, really dry skin. And as you can see, the center of her face is like really, really red and around her face is like her neck color and stuff. And that's like, um... <clears throat> That redness, you could use um, the shoot, like a green concealer, but I don't like to use those color corrector concealer. I, the, yeah, the color corrector concealer. I do not like to use them. I just like to start off with a foundation, <clears throat> maybe a little darker, and then I go in with the client's correct shade. So what I did with her skin today was i using my at shades by gal um spice um foundation on her skin first okay i just don't go in with a bright um foundation on her and then i went in with cover girl i don't remember what shades i use on the tip of my tongue right now but i know i take a picture of the two shades i always use on this particular client and i'm gonna list i'm gonna list them in the description bar below and i want you to see how i build that foundation you don't have to go in because a lot of people with the skin tone they don't want to do be that pale they are so scared of looking pale so that's why i try to like build our foundation from scratch like look how flawless that come out like it's starting to match her neck and everything's starting to match up she was tearing a little bit but i gotta and that's how i build that and then i just use my damp it's this beauty blender was damp i just wet it up squeeze it out in my paper towel and i'm starting to blend our foundation in so that's just a little tip I wanted to share with you guys. So for under eyes, I think I used the same um, C1 concealer since that um, I started. You see that base that I started with was just the just the it the base the 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 foundation from She's by Yeah was just the it for her skin. Honestly, it just warms our skin up to take our foundation and blend it, not to give it a pale look, but to give it a more uh, um, look to our neck if you understand what I mean 
a more warmer a more subtle because she don't want to look too pale like yeah so what I'm doing right here I'm just highlighting her skin on her eyes you know shutting up that contour area forehead nose bridge and yeah I'm literally stretching y'all so to contour I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use that same stick foundation from Shades by Yeah in Spice and contour her okay this was the same base I used before our foundation the same foundation the same dark foundation I used before our foundation before a real foundation and I noticed I had to use like two couple girl foundation to like get the perfect match for her but like I said you just gotta spend time and know and test your foundation people ask me this all the time you test it on the jawline if you notice when I was applying that stick I started on her jawline area first and when I was applying the liquid as well I started on her, on her side cheeks you know like down in those areas so just blending contour out and yeah I love shades by gal foundation sticks for like contouring really really love it pretty so bomb and yeah like I said you have to spend time to blend like if you're not gonna blend sis might as well you just give up because blending is everything when it comes to these right now So I took my Shades by Gal setting powder in banana and we just used that same sponge, the same damp sponge we used, the same sponge. It's like one side is for foundation and the other side is for highlight. See that? And we just patted that powder in, not to have her bake for too long. Like I said earlier, she's really dry. So you just got to put it on and press it in and then you get get rid of it and the same way with my own skin so look how pretty those eyes are listen i'm so so yeah So I'm just using my fluffy brush and I'm just blending that, you know, making sure everything nicely blended. And I did not add anything to that brush. I'm just taking that nicely clean brush and just blending everything together. So then we add a blush and the blush that I used for her um skin was from um at um no Aquarian case watch me blush palette I used that like an orange color blush for her today and then I'm blending that listen 
blending is key blending is key don't forget blending is key So yeah, a little tip. I think I told you guys this other day, but um, make sure you spray your client's face before you add highlights. It works for some people, it don't. But I, it works for me, and it's been working for me and my clients, so yeah. So highlight today, Taj Mahal from Shades by Gat. Listen, y'all see me going hard for this brand? Y'all think they come? They, they their stuff is not no joke. Their products are actually one of the best sets, honestly. Look at that. B. 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 Listen. It's so pretty. And make sure you blend that in. So I'm just making sure everything is nicely blended. This it's just like blending is key. <laughs> I said this before, but I have to keep saying it. Because I don't feel like y'all listen to me when I talk. I think that I chased by y'all very berry and the lip gloss is from at Chase by Gala as well and like I said I'm gonna list it in the description bar below I need to list the stuff I'm gonna list them tonight and this is the final look you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you want more of these kind of looks or tutorials, let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend. Tell them to subscribe to my channel. And I see you dolls in my next video. Thank you dolls so much for always tuning in. And welcome, welcome, welcome new queens to this channel. <laughs> bye y'all just like enjoy the rest of the scenery okay just just look at this a look this is bomb this is popping this is everything she's so garbage like okay so pretty